What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today, we're going to be answering one of the most common questions. How many skeleton masters or characters can we have at the same time in Unreal Engine? It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm here in the third person template, and I'm going to simply start by going into the characters folder, mannequins, enemies, and then just get a simple unarmed kind of, you know, jog animation. And let's get uh, forward and okay, here we go. Boom, we got this forward animation. But we obviously only have one, right? What if we had all of these <laughs> filled with animations? Start it. Yes, boom, here we go. And I start to simply duplicate all of these animations. But obviously, it would take two million years if we were doing it like this. So let me speed up a bit the process and you start to duplicate, 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 duplicate and duplicate. So we already have around 100 FPS. So it's actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, it's actually not really consuming so crazy, but uh, let's continue on. Let's continue on. So let me go ahead and select all of these skeleton meshes that we have in this level. And let me start to also place them over here. And I'm gonna literally just go ahead and start to put this around to all places. And yes, I'm using the end key to snap them to the ground, which is so, so good. I think it actually got improved in 5.6 because it's working pretty neatly. Okay, now we got a bunch of more skeleton meshes. I'm, I'm just continuing to duplicate. Okay, a bit more. Okay, so before we had 100 FPS, now we got 19 FPS. As you can see, we're even out of memory. So there's clearly a difference on the amount of skeleton meshes that we can run at the same time we are already at an you know not acceptable stage so how many you know characters do we have well let's actually go ahead and see we got 576 characters at the same time now as you can see if we are not in play mode and they are not executing the animation it's actually pretty neat so if you were to have 500 skeleton meshes that were not animating it would actually be pretty decent but if you have them animating that's where the problem starts to you know just appear so how, what, what can we do to improve this right what can we do to improve this well there's a couple of things but first things first in unreal engine 5.5 we got nanite on skeleton meshes so this means that we can go into the jug we can go into the original skeleton mesh which is this one over here, and we can find it. And now we can just right click, go to Nanite, and enable Nanite. As you can see, they disappear. They're just loading some stuff, and they will be back in a couple of seconds, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we go. We got all of them back. Now, how will this run? Well, a bit better. Instead of 19, we got 22 FPS. Now. Still similar, but there is a improvement, you know? If I go into the Nanite triangles visualization, you can see them here and how cool this is actually looking. So yeah, 576 is obviously my cap right now, but with Nanite, we can increase it just a bit. Obviously, this is just some funny tests or video. Quite obviously, this will depend on more stuff, first of all the actual characters themselves, the level of detail, then the amount of materials and draw codes that they have, then the animation that they're executing themselves, and obviously, finally, the actual PC and hardware that you have and are running this. Obviously, if you run this in a crappy laptop, you'll get like one quarter of the FPS that I'm getting right now. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, you just wanna do tests for your hardware, different versions, and you start duplicating <laughs> and see how many skeleton matches can unreal run but yeah the answer is that with nanite we can run just a bit more but not so so many more 
if that makes sense. But if you were to make them all not run the animation at the same time, you can actually have many more. Now there's one trick which is using a flipbook, and this means that they will not be executing an actual animation, the material will be just changing a flipbook in a 3D space to simulate and fake and mimic that they're playing animations and it actually runs so so well. There's a couple of plugins and assets in the marketplace and in Fab that do that. So if you're interested, you search it up on Fab because it's quite cool. And if you want me to do a video on that, so you can have like hundreds of thousands of skeleton meshes in the level, let me know down in the comments. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you are actually learning Unreal Engine 5 seriously, join my Unreal Club, the link is in the description. And now yes, with all that said, bye bye.